Now to Unser Hassan now, who he's tracking a warning to horse owners in the foothills. That's where a virus is creating some major concerns out there. Unser? Yeah, that's right, you guys. So as we were saying, this virus, which is highly contagious, has actually been a problem here in Northern California for the past couple of years. But because these two cases are local, the city wants to get the word out and keep the virus from spreading. Michaela Ives is getting in some extra practice with her horse before this weekend's competition. I just make sure that I have everything and I'm very prepared and the horse is prepared too. And just make sure you have a good time. Michaela, who's just 17, has been riding for the past five years. She knows even just to compete, her horse has to be healthy. It, it, definitely a teamwork. And so when you're on the horse, you can feel like a connection, especially since it's, you know, it's a living animal. Part of the teamwork includes paying extra attention to her horse's health as news spreads that two horses have been infected with equine coronavirus. It's definitely, I mean, it makes you want to like keep a closer eye out, especially anything unusual with the horse. Nevada City officials confirmed that two horses in the Penn Valley area have been infected with the virus, also known as foothill fever. The symptoms include fever and decreased appetite. Most of the time, horses are sick for just a few days, but in a small number of cases, the disease can be fatal. That's why the city is working to get the word out. Because it is a highly contagious virus, we felt it was necessary to notify our community. Daniel Chatney is the interim agriculture commissioner for Nevada City. He says the virus is spread by fecal to oral contact. That means horse owners need to watch what their horses are eating and to maintain a clean environment for the horses, not just cleaning barns and stables, but tools and equipment as well. Vets say the two infected horses are likely to recover. The city is trying to be proactive to make sure the virus doesn't spread. And the city also wants to let people know that this virus will only impact horses and cannot infect humans. All right, Sam Oscar, Christina, thanks very much. Appreciate that. Live for us tonight in Nevada City.